Hi everyone and welcome back to Women to Women. Well, we would normally be meeting this morning for our Women to Women Friday session and all our sessions just now and our studies just now all relate back to our motto text for 2020. You'll find the Women to Women motto text for this year in the book of Acts in chapter 1 and verse 8 where Jesus said this, you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes upon you and you will be my witnesses. So everything that we're studying and we're looking at this year relates back to that text. And we've been looking in particular, haven't we, at the Thursday group at the power of the Holy Spirit, our advocate, our helper, that we can do nothing without him in our lives. We saw that in the early church when they were in that upper room and they were waiting on the Lord and the Lord sent the Holy Spirit. Jesus told them that it was good for them that he went ahead so that we could receive the Holy Spirit. And then we saw the transformation that took place after they received the power of the Holy Spirit in their lives. They were bolder, they were stronger, they went out and preached messages and thousands were saved, they healed the sick. So we can do nothing in our lives without the Holy Spirit. We can do nothing as the church without the power of the Holy Spirit. We've also been looking at the second part of that verse where Jesus says that we will be his witnesses. In particular, we've been looking at what it means to be a disciple of Jesus Christ, a follower of Jesus Christ. Well, the Bible says that we'll be known as a disciple of Jesus Christ, not by what we wear or the songs that we sing, but how we love, that we would be known as love. And there's no greater time than right now when there's a lot going on around us right now, an opportunity for us as Christ followers, as the church today, to be love in action, to share love, to wear love, to speak love and to act in love. So we've been studying what it means to be a disciple of Jesus Christ. And in order to do that, we've been looking at the disciples, at the 12 disciples, and we're already halfway so far we've looked at Andrew and Peter, the brothers, the fishermen, we've looked at Matthew, the tax collector, Philip and the other brothers, James and John. And I would just like to give a little summary this morning of where we're at with that so far. So these guys, fishermen, tax collectors, they were just ordinary guys that were out there doing their job and then they had an amazing encounter with Jesus. They watched him, they listened to him, they saw him speak with authority, they listened to his teachings and they surrendered and they followed in great obedience. They were just ordinary men, but God was able to do immeasurably more than they could ever think, dream or imagine. God turned ordinary men into extraordinary men who served his kingdom wholeheartedly. But let's be honest, they weren't perfect in fact, they made many mistakes. However, Jesus saw the potential within them. Jesus saw greatness inside of them. Take Peter, for instance. He changed his name from Simon to Peter. He called him as his destiny, the rock that would establish the church. He saw the potential within Peter. Yes, Peter was a work in progress, but Jesus was able to see beyond that. And he does the same with us. He doesn't see us as our past. He doesn't even see us as we are today. He sees the potential within you to go on and do great things for his kingdom. So maybe the thought of being a disciple overwhelms you a little or maybe it challenges you a little or maybe that you're listening in today and you're actually quite excited about that. What I have taken from this study is that God can use an ordinary woman like me and he can do amazing things in and through our lives if only we make ourselves available to him and these guys followed with simple obedience my favorite so far has been the apostle john you know we began looking at john and his brother james and they were nicknamed weren't they the sons of thunder they cried out to god and they said send the thunder on the samaritans you know, they were very impulsive. They, sh you know, they wanted to shoot from the hip and, and you know, I'm very impetuous. But God takes us and he moulds us and he shapes us 
into the women and the men in which he originally created us to be. And you know, John, he goes on to be known not as John, the son of thunder, but the apostle of love. Just look at that transformation right there from the son of thunder to, to the apostle of love. It says that John writes the word love over 80 times in the New Testament. That's how much his heart had changed as he walked with the master, as he learned from Jesus. So is God calling you today to be a disciple? Well, now is the time. Now is the time to go out there today and be salt and light in this world world. Yes, Jesus has called you his disciple and you will be known as that by the way that you love. So why don't you maybe drop us a comment at the bottom of the page. Let us know who's been your favourite disciple so far, who has challenged you, who is in actual fact quite like you, you know, whose personality most matches yours. But most importantly, let's look to Jesus to transform us by the power of of his Holy Spirit. So tune in next week as we learn more about the disciples. God bless.